Hi, this is Malachi. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm the pastor and founder of Life's Word Ministry and executive producer of Today's Man with Pastor Malachi, along with my beautiful wife, Christine. Today's Man addresses everyday issues, problems, and successes through a biblical perspective for real everyday people just like you. This is not just about the man, but for mankind as a whole. Listen in to today's podcast as I share thoughts about today's man. Hey, thank you for showing up today. Thank you for tuning in. This is another edition of Today's Man, and I am your host, Pastor Malachi. Let's get after it. Let's get to it. Let's be about it, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about leaving a legacy. Leaving a legacy. What is a legacy? A legacy is something that's transmitted by or received from an ancestor or a predecessor, and usually that's in the form of money or property. Now, I believe it was Shannon Elder that once said, carve your name on hearts, not tombstones. A legacy is etched into the minds of others and the stories they share about you. I really like that because when you think about it, what type of stories are people sharing about you? What type of life are you living that people can share your story are you leaving a good story behind you? Do you have a story? The discussion of leaving a legacy has come up in conversations more than we can count. And as I look at my friends, I look at most of my friends are past or nearly mid-century age. And then when I look at my children, I look at my children and I see that they're edging closer and closer to that 30-year mark. So life continues to move on whether we like it or not. I don't care how hard you try to stop life or slow down the aging process. You cannot stop the aging process. The concept of legacy is always a thought when I look at my grandchildren and I see how fast that they're growing up in front of me. And as a man, we have to think about ideas of what type of a life legacy do we want to leave future generations? I remember some time ago when Dr. Miles Monroe stated at a meeting one night, my work is done on this earth. And shortly thereafter, he was gone. He had finished his work. He had finished his purpose. He felt that he had nothing left to do. And the legacy that he was building that he built, he, he left behind. Man, look at look at the legacy that he left behind for his children and their children. Not only did he leave millions of dollars, but a ministry that is priceless. You look up Miles Monroe, Dr. Miles Monroe, and see what type of legacy that he's left behind for countless people and their generations. He's been a blessing to the kingdom of God. I believe it was Joan Moran that said the idea of leaving a legacy is the need or the desire to be remembered for what you have contributed to the world. In some cases, that contribution can be so special that the universe is unalterably changed. However, for most mere mortals walking this earth, most will leave a more modest legacy that doesn't necessarily change the world, but does leave a lasting footprint that will be remembered by those whose lives you've touched. I really want my life to matter. And I hope your life matters in some way. My wife and I were driving today and we saw this young lady sitting on a bridge, the crossover bridge, just sitting there talking to herself like she was out of her mind. When we came back, she was gone. I don't know if the police came and got her or she jumped. I do not know. But I want my life to matter. I've been teaching and ministering for over 40 years. I think about how I have impacted a life, if I've impacted a life. Did I impact a life? I hope I have impacted a life over those 40 years. Have I left a mark in someone's heart? Is my legacy and my contribution enlightening those I've encountered? I really hope so. Are there those that have become actors or businessmen, businesswomen? Did they become doctors or entrepreneurs? Have they become mothers or fathers as a result of my teaching and ministry? These are things that I think about. Most of my life, I've been a teaching tool. That's a gift that keeps on giving and giving because it has led me to experience 
other learning experiences in my life that I enjoy sharing with other people. The more I learn, the more I want to share. The more I share, the more I want to learn. And it continues that process of recycling. The more you read, the more you want to read. It's just like eating. The more you eat, the more you want to eat. My purpose, legacy, is my family. Two daughters, one son, and three grandchildren. And now, being that I just got married a few months ago, my wife has two daughters, one son, and a young woman she has literally raised as her own. I hope I can be fully present to be the best that I can be as a father, stepfather, and grandfather. It is now our endeavor to leave a legacy that will continue for generations to come, however long or however short that may be. It's all in God's hand and in his timing. But we truly want our life to matter. Let me give you five ways to leave a great legacy. You can write these down or you can come back later and listen to it and write them down. You ready? The first one is support the causes and the people that are important to you. Here's a question that we should all answer. What is the most important attribute of a friendship? How would you answer that? How would you answer what is the most important attribute of a friendship? What do you consider is the most important major theme of a friendship and relationship? Everything that is good and right about a person's life should be supported by loving friends and their family. However, this is not always the case. There are times when those that you love or those that say they love you will not support you or some of the choices you make about your life, especially if it's not going in the direction that they want to go. A very important part of life is supporting the people and the causes that are important to you. So in turn, they will and should support you and your cause. Does this happen all the time? Of course not. But there is a real good feeling about helping others reach their goals, isn't it? That is such a wonderful feeling when you can help someone reach their goal. The second one is reflect on and decide what is most important in your life. How often have you reviewed your life journey? And when you have reviewed your life journey, what comes to mind? Are there several ideas that come to mind that could possibly change a life? Have you grown or transformed your life? Have you made changes when you needed to make changes? Have you found your truth in life? Have you inspired others? Did you become a leader of influence for others to follow? The thing that is paramount in life is being able to touch others' lives and exemplify a truthful path to live in a joyful and purposeful life in God. A purposeful path that the legacy you are leaving will live on and on and on and on. This happens when you reflect and decide what is most important in your life. Number three, share your blessings with others. Every day, I think about all the blessings I have in life and how I try to be mindful of sharing with others the richness that God has blessed me in my life. We have been given abundance in what we need, and it is our legacy to give back in abundance to others. Now, I understand that we can't help everybody, but In whatever capacity that God desires for us to give, we want to be a blessing in that area. Every one of you has blessings to share, even if it's no more than a simple smile and a thank you. Some people really need that. When was the last time you blessed somebody? I would say go out of your way today and share a blessing. Tip more just because. Give up your seat. Keep the door open for someone walking behind you. This may seem small, but, you know, by that very kind gesture, it goes a long way. Be nice to someone. That's being a blessing. It may seem simple, but those that's receiving that blessing, they may need that smile for the day. Number four, consider being a mentor. A mentor, by definition, is someone willing to spend his or her time and expertise to guide the development of another person, be it a coach, a guide, a tutor, facilitator, spiritual counselor, or a trusted advisor. There are many in life that has some significant truth to impart to others, and in many cases, it's called their opinion. Hoping 
that it will guide less experienced people in their journey of life. The mentor-mentee relationship involves personal development and all-around support. This process involves an exchange of knowledge complemented by psychological and or social support that is crucial to sustaining a new and improved mindset. Sometimes these relationships last a lifetime, well after the mentee has moved on and is now out in the world influencing others. So if your call is to be a mentor, pray and ask God's guidance in passing on your expertise to others. Number five, pursue your passions because they can be contagious. Passions come from an outpouring of the interests and ideas that make a difference in your life. Your passions are your legacy. Finding and pursuing your passion always allows you to clearly see your destiny. That's what happens to me when I lay before God earnestly and sincerely. When I am in sync with God and I'm in prayer, I can clearly see and define my goals and my destiny. Rest assured that life won't be any fun if you don't pursue your passions to the fullest. What are your passions? What is it that you love to do? What sets your soul on fire? It's that passion that's contagious. Don't miss the opportunity to pursue your passions and then continue to look for new adventures. This could be the one thing that may be the most important aspect of life, and that's leaving a spiritual legacy. Leaving a spiritual legacy is an important part of your life's work here on earth. A legacy developed from a life dedicated to self-reflection and purpose. What soon will be revealed and what will endure in life is a life driven by truth and values to be honored by others. I hope that you're leaving a legacy. This concludes our show for today. Through one show at a time, we are helping those in distress and keeping oneself from being polluted by the world to live, hope, and to change. Love God, love yourself, and love others. Thank you for subscribing and sharing our podcast with others. We look forward to being with you on our next show. I'm Pastor Malachi, and this has been Today's Man.